to part three. In this series, we are integrating EFT techniques with the work of Byron Katie, and I guess my own twist as well. And if you're not familiar with Byron Katie, she is the author of Loving What Is, as well as other titles. And you can find her information at thework.com. And if you'd like more information about me, I am the author of Uncovering the Divine Within, A Journey of Self-Love. And you can find my information at kerrycannon.com, which is right there. Okay, so during the last portion, we were talking about how debt or feeling like there's not enough money is something about ourselves, where we feel like we're not enough. And behind that thought is that everything that you experience is an outpicturing of something that you feel about yourself. So if there's not enough money, if there's just not enough, somewhere in you there's a feeling that you're not enough. Or there's somewhere maybe it's not deserving or whatever it is. So we're going to work on that idea, that concept of deserving. And we're going to use tapping and we're going to use the work of Byron Katie to integrate those things and see if it can help you release any resistance that you may have to your own deserving. Okay? So welcome to part three and just tap along with me. And if you need a tapping cheat sheet, please go to livefreellc.com and on the right hand side there is a PDF download for a tapping cheat sheet if you're not familiar with EFT. Ready? On the karate chop point. Even though I feel like I don't deserve to have follow after me and I'm not good enough and there's never been enough I deeply and completely accept myself even though I feel undeserving and unworthy I deeply and completely accept those feelings even though I don't deserve to have money I deeply and completely accept myself. I feel undeserving. I don't deserve to have money. Who do I think I am? I have to work really hard to have money. I don't deserve for it to come easily. I'm not worthy. Other people deserve lots of money, but not me. Okay, take a deep breath. Now notice your intensity on a scale of 1 to 10. If it hasn't gone down considerably to like a 2 or a 3 or where you feel relaxed, go back and repeat, okay? We're going to move on to the next portion where we integrate the work. Even though I feel undeserving of having money, I wonder who I would be without that thought. I'm willing to release that thought and accept myself the way I am. Even though I feel undeserving, I wonder why I feel that way. Why have I been holding myself back? Maybe I can change that thought, or at least acknowledge it, and allow myself to feel deserving. Even though I feel undeserving, I deeply and completely accept myself, and realize that it's something inside of me. Okay, on the eyebrow. I feel this undeserving. be without that thought. I wonder what my life would be like without that thought that I'm undeserving. Where did I get that thought from? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am deserving. Can I think of a stress-free reason to keep the thought that I'm undeserving? 
might be willing to let this go. Okay, take a deep breath. Do you notice a difference? If not, go back, repeat, until you feel a little lighter about that thought. And I'll see you in part four. Take care. My name is Carrie Cannon. For more information about me, go to CarrieCannon.com, which is on your screen. Have a great